Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. When people are born, they're expected to have two hands, two arms, two eyes, two legs, two feet, two kidneys, a heart. Well, you get the point. But sometimes what's expected isn't always what happens. Physical mutations aren't an uncommon thing, but these 10 people were born with what some may consider the weirdest extra body parts ever. Think you can stomach more oddities from Top 10 Archive? Then don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our next video. Once we're done here, if you liked what you saw, give us a like and don't forget to leave a comment so we can chat with you. Number 10, Deepak Paswan. When he was born in 2003, Deepak Paswan had a glaring irregularity that earned him the nickname of Octo Boy. Seven years later, he underwent a surgery that finally let him leave that moniker behind. But chances are, he won't soon forget the physical malformation that he spent almost a decade living with. Paswan lived with a parasitic twin growing out of his chest, leaving partially developed legs and arms hanging from him. Prior to his surgery, he dealt with being revered as an incarnation of Vishnu in his home state of Bihar and was often visited by Hindu pilgrims. Number 9. George Lippert Born in Germany, 1844, George Lippert was recognized by his impossible-to-miss physical condition, a third non-functional leg. Considering the time period he lived through, it's no surprise that he made a living as an attraction, working periodically as an exhibit for P.T. Barnum. That there are no photographs of Lippert raises concerns over the viability of the three-legged claim, but even if he had only two legs, his autopsy after his death in 1906 from tuberculosis revealed that he had also been living with two functioning hearts. Doctors even claimed that one heart had died several weeks before his actual passing. Number 8. Rokhaya Mohammed when their daughter was born with two full mouths, doctors warned the parents of Rokhaya Mohammed that she wouldn't survive. At 15 months old, the unique girl was brought from Egypt to Los Angeles to undergo cleft surgery in an effort to give her a lasting and comfortable life. In 2011, she underwent the first of many surgeries, and though it was a success, Rokhaya's story doesn't seem to have been updated since. Cleft deformities are among the most common defects found in children, affecting upwards of 200,000 newborns each year. Number 7. Lakshmi Tatma It was clear when Lakshmi Tatma was brought into the world that she was something special. To many, Tatma's physical appearance was jarring as she was born with a headless parasitic twin connected to her hips. Though doctors were quick to declare her unable to live a full life into adulthood, Tatma's parents opted to have the twin removed with a surgery that was incredibly dangerous. Unwilling to give up, the two-year-old survived the surgery to live a life without the excess limbs, though doctors fear she'll have a lifetime of surgeries and complications ahead of her. Number 6. Hannah Kersey Childbirth is considered a miracle all on its own. But consider the case of Hannah Kersey, a woman born with two wombs who gave birth to triplets. And that's not even accurately describing her situation. When Kersey realized she was pregnant, it was found that her babies weren't all in the same womb. Not only was Kersey hit with a rather rare physical malformation of the uterus, but she had two eggs, one in each womb, inseminated simultaneously by two sperm. Uterus didelphus occurs during embryogenesis when two paramesonephric ducts fail to fuse into a solitary uterine body. Number 5. Jean Libera Known during the 20th century as the double-bodied man, Jean Libera made a living as a sideshow for Barnum & Bailey and the Dreamland Circus Sideshow. Before Libera was born, his brother had formed into a parasitic twin and became embedded in his ribcage, and Libera carried around the 18-inch long body for the 50 years he lived, but that was only what people could see. 
The twin's head was found embedded in Lebert's body, and it was determined that Jacques was living and capable of moving. Number 4. Hazel Jones In 2012, 27-year-old Hazel received a $1 million offer to star in an adult film, possibly the largest offer any non-celebrity had received from Vivid Entertainment. So what makes the High Wycombe resident so special to have been presented with such an offer? When she was born, Jones was found to have a form of uterus didelphus that left her with two wombs and two cervixes, essentially giving her two vaginas. While surgery is an option, Jones turned it down in fear of the amount of potentially impeding and uncomfortable scar tissue that could have formed. Number 3. Francesco Lentini when Francesco was born in the late 19th century, a time when physical abnormalities were still shocking, he was destined for show business. At the time of his birth in 1889, Lentini's twin brother had fused with him, leaving the young Marvel with an extra leg, an extra set of working genitals, and an extra foot protruding from his third leg. At an early age, Lentini was abandoned by his parents, left in the care of his aunt, and was told by doctors that, due to the proximity of vital appendages, the limbs couldn't be removed. At the age of eight, Lentini went to America and found a calling, wooing crowds. Number 2. Garden of Gandalf after his 18th birthday, an anonymous Reddit user known only by his handle, Garden of Gandalf, decided to finally show the world that he suffered from polyorchidism, or the presence of more than two testicles. During his big reveal, he didn't get too far into the condition itself, instead focusing on answering a stream of pressing questions, like which of the three was his favorite. Polyorchidism is an incredibly rare disorder, with less than 200 reported cases, with the most common form being when all three testicles share the vas deferens and epididymis. Okay, okay, we mentioned it. So you're dying to know. His favorite is his right one. Number 1. Diphylactic Dude in 2014, a man known only as Diphylactic Dude and Triple D published a book titled Double Header, My Life with Two Penises. At first glance at the title, anyone can mistake it for something found in the humor section. But the story of the 20-something author actually chronicles his real-life journey growing up with two penises. Known as diphalia, the condition is believed to only affect approximately one in five and a half million and is usually accompanied by other anomalies like spina bifida, though Triple D seems to be the incredibly rare exception. Outside of a fleeting consideration at 16 years old to have one removed, diphylactic dude has learned to live with and enjoy his extra appendage. Okay, all done here. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, or at least the content of the video, give us a like and don't forget to leave a comment so we can chat with you.